Joseph Dejac, French, Deke, December 27, 1821, Paris 1864, Paris was a French early anarcho-communist poet and writer. Dejac was the first recorded person to employ the term libertarian. French, libertaire for himself in a political sense in a letter written in 1857, criticizing Pierre-Joseph Proudhon for his sexist views on women, his support of individual ownership of the product of labor and of a market economy, saying that, "...it is not the product of his or her labor that the worker has a right to, but to the satisfaction of his or her needs, whatever may be their nature." Life. Of unknown origins, Dejac was first heard of when arrested as part of the revolutionary upheavals in France in 1848. Imprisoned for a time for socialist agitation, he was released but rearrested in 1851, and was sentenced to two years of prison for his collection of poems Les Lazarines, Fables et Poésies Sociales, with an additional penalty of 2,000 francs. He escaped to London around the time of the December 2, 1851 coup d'état. While in Jersey between 1852 and 1853 he published La Question Révolutionnaire, an exposition of anarchism. Whilst staying in New Orleans from 1856 to 1858, he wrote his famous anarchist Utopia la Humanisphere, Utopie Anarchique, but could not find a publisher. Returning to New York he was able to serialize his book in his periodical Le Libertaire, Journal du Mouvement Social. Published in 27 issues from June 9, 1858 to February 4, 1861, Le Libertaire was the first anarcho-communist journal published in America. This was the first anarchist journal to use the term, libertarian, among many articles on revolution and current political events both in France and the USA he attacked the hanging of John Brown after the raid on Harper's Ferry and propagandized for the abolitionist cause. His stay in New York ended when his work prospects ran out due to the economic slump occasioned by the outbreak of the American Civil War. He returned to London and then to Paris following the amnesty, where he died a few years later in extreme poverty. Topic. Social philosophy The writings of Dejac could be seen as one who up until the foundation of anarchist communism properly so called, expressed in a coherent way the radical communism which emerged in France from the 1840s as a critical appropriation of Fourierism, Owenism, and Neo Babouvism. Dejac's work was an examination of the limits of the 1848 revolution and the reasons for its failure. It was developed around a rejection of two things, the state, even if revolutionary, and collectivism of the Proudhonist type. Dejac reformulated communism in a way that sought to be resolutely free from the dogmatism, sectarianism and statism exhibited by those such as Cabot and La Fraternité to 1845. Dejac spoke of, liberty which has been so misused against the community and which it is true to say that certain communist schools have held cheap." <laughs> Dejac's anti-authoritarian communism Dejac rejected Blanquism, which was based on a division between the disciples of the great people's architect and the people, or vulgar herd, and was equally opposed to all the variants of social republicanism, to the dictatorship of one man and to the dictatorship of the little prodigies of the proletariat. With regard to the last of these, he wrote that, a dictatorial committee composed of workers is certainly the most conceited and incompetent, and hence the most anti-revolutionary, thing that can be found. It is better to have doubtful enemies in power than dubious friends. He saw anarchic initiative, reason will, and the autonomy of each as the conditions for the social revolution of the proletariat, the first expression of which had been the barricades of June 1848. In Dejac's view, a government resulting from an insurrection remains a reactionary fetter on the free initiative of the proletariat. Or rather, such free initiative can only arise and develop by the masses ridding themselves of the authoritarian prejudices by means of which the state reproduces itself in its primary function of representation and delegation. 
Dejac wrote that, by government I understand all delegation, all power outside the people, for which must be substituted, in a process whereby politics is transcended, the people in direct possession of their sovereignty, or the organized commune. For Dejac, the communist anarchist utopia would fulfill the function of inciting each proletarian to explore his or her own human potentialities, in addition to correcting the ignorance of the proletarians concerning social science. He also thought that Government, religion, property, family, all are linked, all coincide. The content of the social revolution was thus to be the abolition of all governments, of all religions, and of the family based on marriage, the authority of the parents and the husband, and inheritance. Dejac established his proposed state as follows. The state of affairs where each would be free to produce and consume at will and according to their fantasy, without having to exercise or submit to any control whatsoever over anything whatever, where the balance between production and consumption would establish itself, no longer by preventive and arbitrary detention at the hands of some group or other, but by the free circulation of the faculties and needs of each. Debate with Pierre-Joseph Proudhon Dejac criticized French mutualist anarchist Pierre-Joseph Proudhon as far as, "...the Proudhonist version of Ricardian socialism, centered on the reward of labor power and the problem of exchange value." In his polemic with Proudhon on women's emancipation, Dejac urged Proudhon to push on as far as the abolition of the contract, the abolition not only of the sword and of capital, but of property and authority in all their forms, and refuted the commercial and wages logic of the demand for a fair reward for labor, labor power. Dejac asked, Am I thus? right to want, as with the system of contracts, to measure out to each according to their accidental capacity to produce what they are entitled to the answer given by dejac to this question is unambiguous it is not the product of his or her labor that the worker has a right to but to the satisfaction of his or her needs whatever may be their nature for dejac on the other hand the communal state of affairs the phalanstery without any hierarchy without any authority except that of the statistics book corresponded to natural exchange i.e. to the unlimited freedom of all production and consumption the abolition of any sign of agricultural individual artistic or scientific property the destruction of any individual holding of the products of work the demonarchization and the demonetarization of manual and intellectual capital as well as capital in instruments commerce and buildings topic Attractive labor and the humanosphere. Dejac advocated the transformation of work into attractive work. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 as the condition for the existence of the community. The organization of attractive work by series would have replaced Malthusian competition and repulsive work. This organization was not to be something exterior to productive activity. Dejac's communist anthropology was based on the liberation of needs, including the need to act on the world and nature, and made no distinction between natural technical necessities and human ends. Although its vocabulary was borrowed from Charles Fourier Harmony, Passions, Series and so on, it aimed at the community of activities more than the organized deployment of labor power. The different series of workers are recruited on a voluntary basis like the men on a barricade, and are completely free to stay there as long as they want or to move on to another series or barricade. Dejac's humanosphere was to have no hours of work nor obligatory groupings. Work could be done in isolation or otherwise. As to the division of labor, Dejac proposed its abolition in a very original way. What he advocated was a reciprocal process of the integration of the aristocracy or rather of the aristocratic intelligentsia and the proletariat, each going beyond its own unilateral intellectual or manual development. Topic: The transitional period. Dejac was perhaps exasperated by the gulf between the results of his utopian research and the content of the class struggle in the 1850s, and tried to bridge this gulf with a theory of transition. This theory aimed to facilitate the achievement of the state of community, while taking into account the existing situation. 
Its three bases were, first, direct legislation by the people the most democratic form of government, while awaiting its complete abolition, second, a range of economic measures which included direct exchange even though Dejac admitted that this democratized property without abolishing exploitation, the establishment of Owenite type labor bazaars, circulation vouchers, labor vouchers and a gradual attack on property, and third, a democratization of administrative functions revocability of public officials, who would be paid on the basis of the average price of a day's work and the abolition of the police and the army. See also Anarchism in France Libertarian socialism References Topic. External links Joseph Dejac's archive at the Anarchist Library Works in French Joseph Dejac page from the Anarchist Encyclopedia Joseph Dejac page at Libertarian Labyrinth An English-language translation of Joseph Dejac's utopian vision, Le Humanisphere, at the Digital Reorse Commons of the University of Cincinnati.